it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today, we're gonna to talk about the potential hay shortage and what we're doing to get ready for it. Y'all stick around. Today's video, um, I don't know about y'all, but we're just really concerned about everything that's going on in the economy and we're very concerned that there's going to be a hay shortage. And so today we're going to talk about um, what we're doing, you know, to kind of prepare for that as much as possible. Um, I know it's tough on a lot of farmers out there, but, you know, your cows have, have to eat and that's, um, that's a major part of what, you know, you have to do is, is to buy hay and, and get prepared. So with diesel at $5 a gallon and fertilizer at $1,000 a ton, you know, we just feel like a lot of people are not going to be fertilizing like they normally do. And that's going to cause, um, you know, a shortage in the hay. Um, if you don't fertilize, you're not going to get as much hay. So what we've decided to do is to try to find, you know, some of last year's hay that maybe didn't sell or you know just people had extra we're trying to get 40 percent of what we normally would use for hay uh, to be last year's hay and you know it's uh, cheaper right now than what it's going to be so our thoughts on using last year's hay obviously it's not as nutritional as fresh hay but it should be fine uh, to feed to our bulls and our finishing cattle. So, you know, they're already on grain and good feed, so it, it, should, it should work just fine for them. So that's kind of what we've got in mind uh, to do and hopefully save some money and, and survive this uh, hay shortage this year. We're hearing uh, five by five bales are gonna be you know possibly 65 75 dollars a bale where last year they were 40 45 so that's a big increase and a lot of farmers can't handle that i've already heard of, of several farmers talking about just selling out so everybody can't do that or we're not going to have any beef to eat another thing that we believe is going to help anyone is trying to spread your grass as far as you can spread it and we believe wholeheartedly in cross fencing. We have cross fenced and, and decided, hey, that's still a bit too big and let's make it smaller. So we just, we cross fenced as much as we possibly can. And the rotational grazing, you know, lets the ground recover in between them grazing it. And uh, in turn, it just, you just have more grass. And I believe if we can pulled off feed and hay as long as possible. That's also going to help um, with those high cost in hay. And we're all just going to have to, you know, work together and come up with different ideas of how to keep our farms going. So what we're doing is just picking out a spot in the pasture where we can stack the hay. Um, we don't have a hay barn, we'd love to have one, but right now it's just not uh, feasible for us. So just find a good spot and stack it up for the winter. And the guy that's bringing our hay has a large truck and trailer to can haul more hay, but it makes it harder for him to get through gates and stuff. So we're just stacking it um, unloading it. We're just unloading it at the barn area and then moving it by truck and trailer loads. It takes a little bit of time, but it's really not that bad. So we're going back and putting a temporary fence in around here with some poly tape and just using the existing electric fence to hook onto the power. So my Little winged calves. Pretty proud of this little group. Good babies. 
Yeah, go babies. Mowing it down right now. Mowing it down. How fresh is this stuff? It'll be any fresher or we still be grazing.